Aldebaran is a star visible from Earth with a naked eye, without a telescope. The brightness of Aldebaran's visibility from Earth is determined by its relatively short distance to Earth, 65 light years. Aldebaran is 6.4 billion years old and belongs to the normal giants. The inner core has long since exhausted hydrogen, which means helium is involved in the thermonuclear reaction. Over such a long star has managed to change its spectral hue. It is now orange. In astrology, this star is part of the constellation Taurus, conventionally representing its eye. The star Aldebaran is 44 times the size of our sun. This is not the biggest star, but still the size is impressive. Yet its mass is only 2.5 times that of the sun. Aldebaran has a much lower density. In terms of apparent size, the star ranks 14th in the starry sky, but this is not indicative of its actual size. It is its visible size from the ground that is meant. Its relative proximity to the solar system makes it appear brighter than most stars. Another feature of Aldebaran is the fact that it is a pear star and that the star has a companion, a red dwarf, Aldebaran b, belonging to the class M2. Observing Aldebaran Scientists have suggested that its system also has an exoplanet about 6.5 times larger than Jupiter. But at the moment, this theory is not confirmed, and it has opponents who have strong arguments that this planet cannot exist there. People knew about the existence of Aldebaran for a very long time, just because of its good visibility and visible size. Please remember that the visible size from the ground of Aldebaran is not commensurate with its real size. In many ancient myths, there are references to Aldebaran and associations with ancient heroes and gods associated with it. Likewise, Aldebaran has significance for astrologers. In the future, in a few hundred million years, the star will turn into a white dwarf. As a little bonus to the story, an interesting fact. In the 1970s, the Pioneer 10 spacecraft was sent. It stores data about the Earth, about life. It's on its way to Aldebaran. It last made contact with Earth 15 years ago. If it doesn't collide with some asteroid, it'll reach the star someday. Thank you for watching. I hope you were at least a little bit entertained by the story of Aldebaran. I hope this video earned your generous likes and that you might want to subscribe to the channel. All the best and see you on my channel.